When you take off all your clothes in a nightclub act, and there are women in the audience, many of them, I suppose, wives of some of the men who have come there, do you get some kind of uh, embarrassed reaction from women? I, uh, well, in Knoxville, there was a girl that was 17 years old, and I think that was her first strip show. She was very embarrassed. Every time she looked at me, she'd cover her face. But usually, like I said, I'm, most clubs don't allow me to take everything off. And if I do, I can only flash for seconds, you know. When people criticize you for doing that, what is your reply? Um, I don't reply anything. I just think to myself, well, I'm the one going to the bank with all the money, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a very frank answer. It's a lot of money you make. Yeah, 1500 a week. But I, I work hard for it. I really do. What does your act consist of? Um, the traditional, you know, strip, slow teasing. And um, I'm more of a younger act. I'm not like the old strippers that work slow. I like to really, really dance, you know. You do some go-go dancing, too? Real hard dancing. Kind of acrobat, acrobatic-like. What kind of managements do you work with generally? Do, uh, do the... Nightclub managers tell you what to do, or do they let you do your act pretty much as you wish? No, they tell me what I can do and what I can't do. And I like that. Yeah. Now, when you are performing, you're obviously uh, doing an act. Now, when you're off stage with mm -hmm. your family or your boyfriend or your husband or whatever, what do you like to do? Um, horseback ride and cook dinner, because I eat out in restaurants every day. So I like to really cook dinner. <laughs> Would you consider yourself in private life as a swinger? No. No, I am. Um, what do you mean swinging? Just uh, well, I mean, going with everybody Yes, going to a lot of parties, going out a lot, and, uh, you know. No, I wouldn't say that. A lot of no. Mm -mm. But you're not going to tell me that if you weren't a hoofer, you would be a, a librarian. You wouldn't tell me that. No, I go to parties and stuff, but I don't date that much. What about the... The, the Puritan approach of, of Americans and many Western people that it is wrong or immoral to uh, go around with no clothes on. Yeah, I get a lot of women telling me why I do that and uh, won't I ever find a good husband, settle down and things like that. But I'm young and this is what I want to do. You, you seem to enjoy it. And uh, I feel like uh, two more years of this and... Uh, I can be independent to do whatever I want, set up my own restaurant or something. Do men, Kitten, think you're an easy mark because of your act? No. As a matter of fact, that's why I don't have very many dates. They, they think I'm going to be too much women or something. I don't know, because they're really afraid to ask me out. They usually ask me out when it's too late. I'm leaving town or something. They say, well, finally, I've got the nerve to ask you out. Would you like to go to dinner, you know, tomorrow? And I go, gee, I'm leaving tomorrow. You know. <laughs> what kind of a date do you like? A man that'll wine me and dine me and open my car door, help me with my coat. They're hard to find men with good manners, you know. You're hardly a friend of the women's liberation people, I take it. I admire them, intelligent women and stuff like that, but I still feel, you know, I want women to be women, you know. Pretty and sexy and low-cut dresses, mini skirts, right? How long do you think you'll be in this... Uh, in this kind of an act before, I hate to say, you're over the hill. Well, I say I'd like to retire in two years. I'll, I'll be um, 27, and um, I'll still be young enough to enjoy life. Then what? And my money. I want to get married eventually and have maybe one kid. Would you tell your child all about your life? Mm -hmm. But I don't, I don't know if I'd like her to be in this business because, see, a lot of people get hang-ups and then they start getting, you know, like they get um, on this kick of alcoholics or pills and stuff to make, just to let them get on stage, you know, but I don't need that. Do you drink? No. I take it you... you I don't drink or smoke. You don't consider it a big deal then to go around with your clothes off? No. And, uh, it doesn't bother me. You're a very healthy looking girl, I oh, might add. Thank you. I like to eat food, though. <laughs> I don't smoke or drink, but I do eat a lot because I need my energy. You know, I, I burn up a lot of energy. Are you always this good-natured? Yeah. No. <laughs> no, sometimes I am. I'm not very feeling very good. Like when I get real homesick for my grandmother who lives with me. Yes. And uh, sometimes I just miss my friends back home. 
Which is where? But, you know, this is rough, you know, going to a strange city, you don't know anybody, and everybody's afraid to be your friend, and then by the time you make a friend, you leave, right. and you go to another city. But traveling must be easy because you don't need much luggage, of course. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you, too. I'm nice of you to talk so candidly. This has been Kitten Natividad, and she was out at the merry-go-round, and uh, she played uh, a rather unusual booking here, and we thought that you would like to meet somebody who makes her living that way. Milton Metz for Omelette, and we'll be back in just a minute. <laughs>